Welcome to the toolsforrealestate.com tutorial on how to get from Constant Contact the code for the sign up link for your newsletter and how to put it into the signature of all of your emails. First thing we're going to do, going to do is go to www.constantcontact.com and that's where you'll sign in to your account. Your page may not look exactly like this but you'll have the option for a login somewhere. So either you'll see the sign up box right away or you might have to click another um, another letter to do it. So enter your username here and your password in the password box and then click login. So here we are. I'm going to use my own constant contact account site as an example. The first place you want to go is to my settings. And once you're there you want to click site visitor sign up. Then click add a sign up box to your website. That will automatically start a wizard that generates the correct code for a sign up box. Now, we're not going to do this here, but if you wanted to put a link on your website, you would choose if you wanted a basic form or a bubble form, and um, instead, or you could have the choice of doing buttons here. But that's something that you would actually put on an HTML page like your website. What we're trying to do here is just something to put below your email signature in all of your emails. So that's why we clicked text links because it's going to be very simple. So over here on the right you can't see it but I'm clicking next and then that takes you to where you have a few other options. So we're going to do just click next. Don't worry about any of these options because you're actually not going to use them. You're only going to grab the code. So now this is the HTML code that they would tell you to paste into your website. Don't worry about any of it. You don't need to know about HTML. But if you look here where my mouse is, you can see that there's a link in parentheses. It starts with HTTP and it ends with the letters OI. So select that link and then either right click on it and hit copy or you can hit control C and that copies the link. That is the link to the sign up page for your newsletter and I'll show you what will happen since we did copy that code. If I go up to and put it the URL tab and put it directly into the URL. I'm just going to hit control V to copy it in there and then hit return. You'll see that it takes me directly to my newsletter sign up page complete with an incredibly old picture of myself. So this is where you can take people where they can sign up uh, to be on your newsletter. That's step one. You've got the code. Now so that you don't lose it just go into your um, into your programs here and open up Notepad, which is a very simple text editor, and then copy and paste, or paste the link into your Notepad file. With a, so doing the same thing, just Control V. That way you have it. And I'm just going to minimize that for now. The question is, do you really want to be using a link that's this long at the bottom of your emails? It looks really strange. If you have to hit a return, it might get cut off. So let's make this a shorter, prettier looking link. In your URL box line, go up to a website called tinyurl.com and what this website does is actually takes a long URL and makes it smaller so that it doesn't get cut off in emails. Once you're at tinyurl just click inside the box here hit control V again to paste your newsletter sign up link in there click make tiny URL and then say allow access this is now the link to your newsletter. You can copy that and put it right back in that notepad file and you can see that it's a much it's a link that's much easier to use. I recommend that you save this somewhere so that um, you have both of these links. You don't have to go into constant contact and get them again. So the next step is to put this into your email signature. I'm going to log into my web-based email and what you'll have in whatever email program you use is something that says settings so that you can add an email signature which you may already have. Find where you have the option to create your signature. So most email programs have a um, option like this where you can insert a custom email signature that's automatically appended to every outgoing message. So I took that link that we had and I included it with a little blurb um, instructing people to sign up. So just something that says stay in the loop with my monthly tips on remodeling, home safety, tax savings, and more. Sign up here for free. This is the link that we copied from tinyurl. 
and then just reminding people that their email will never be shared they can unsubscribe easily because people like to know that they don't get stuck on a list if they decide to trust you by signing up so then we click OK to save it what I'm going to do now is go up here and compose a message and let's just see how that looks so now when I click compose for an email this is what comes up automatically this is my signature I'm going to send this to myself because I won't be able to see if this link actually works until I do so now I've received this email which was testing the sign up link and we're going to click on it and see if the link works correctly this is what it looks like it says you can see the message came through just fine and let's click on the link and see if we go to the sign up page and we did it took us right there so that's a great way to add an email sign up link to all of your outgoing mail and one thing to remember too is that you you don't necessarily just want to put your call to action with your newsletter you probably also want to put your your name don't overload it you probably don't need to put your business address but your business your name primary contact number website blog and then call to action right here make it easy and reduce some risk right here that's how easy it is to add an email sign up new email newsletter sign up link to all of your outgoing emails along with a nice call to action and uh, check in at toolsforrealestate.com for other tutorials on how to grow your client list and your real estate business thanks for watching